So man is a social animal. Aristotle told this, but this sentence is as true now as it was then. Because that's it. This is what we are. We are social animals. And we like to share our experience with the others. We want to tell the others what we love. And we want to feel what the others feel. To do this, we have five senses that we use to communicate with the other. This is really interesting for me because what I want to tell you is that there are 285 million of people that cannot do this. And to explain this to you, I want to ask you to close your eyes. Close your eyes now and follow my speech because now you are experience what blind and visually impaired people experience every day. Initially, it will be a bit difficult because you will start thinking about all the micro movement around you and you will think, oh, I have to take care if the same person that was sit close to me is still here because your feelings will be different. But there is something that you can do. You can listen and this is really important. What you have just tried is what these people live every day. Now, uh, this feeling can uh, bring them to a circle, a negative circle, because sometimes when they cannot uh, uh, understand the reality around them, this brings them to a loss of independence. And this loss of independence brings them to a loss of self-confidence. And then, even if they are social animals, they have to rely on the other. And if they cannot rely on them, it's more difficult to rely on the other. What I want to do, I want to uh, reverse this trend. I want to give them a tool that uh, will help them in this situation. So now, imagine a boy, a blind boy going to the school with all his friends and is it uh, is bringing some books and these books are the same books that all the other students bring with them he can sit on his desk and open the book the other will start reading he will start listen he will start listen the same words that all the other are reading he will be able to study the same chapter that their friends are studying. In the afternoon, maybe, it will just revise the lessons that he recorded in the morning without needs to be dependent from a person, from a special teaching assistant. Given this, since they're childish, we can help them to dream, to dream big and dream without any kind of impairment. But with the technology, we can do something more. We can, for example, describe them a face and tell them more or less what is the age of the person and give them some more information because we can tell them the expression on the face of the person, breaking down one of the biggest wall of the communication that they have. Moreover, Imagine a blind person on the street and imagine that this device will tell him the zebra crossing are 30 meters from, from, uh, far from you. The traffic light is green. It will cross and it will feel safer in that way. So with Luca and Saverio, I'm developing this tool for blind and visually impaired. And I believe that this will change their life. I want to show you a video with these three girls. They tried our prototype and you can see the react. There's miles.
their happiness. Their comments. Those are the main aspects that bring us to work hard on this project. We want to change their interaction with the society. They deserve to have a proper place in the society. They deserve to have more self-confidence. listen from the others. Io sono Jessica, ho 27 anni e sono non venente dalla nascita. Mi chiamo Lucrezia, ho 24 anni e sono ipovedente. Mi chiamo Veronica, ho 24 anni e sono ipovedente. I believe that we can do something for them. I believe we can be give them this opportunity. And what do you think? Do you think it will be possible? Are you ready for this kind of changing? We have a name.